Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, what have we got for you today? Well, what we've got is an absolutely gorgeous little pen. We have a Waterman's 512V fountain pen. Now, for you regular viewers that watch my videos regularly, um, you'll know that just recently I did a video showing you how I replaced the box lever here on this pen. So if you're interested in that, go and take a look. In fact, what I'll do, I'll leave a link to the top at the end of the video. But, as I say, what we have is a Waterman's 512V fountain pen. Now, the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's around about 110 millimeters long, around the diameter, around about 11 millimeters in diameter. As you can see, it comes in this beautiful, this is what they term as the grey pearl colour. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this particular model came in numerous different, they came in solid colours, obviously the standard black. Um, they may have come in other colours as well, in just standard colours. And they also came in these pearl colours. I believe they did a sort of a silver pearl, which was slightly darker than this particular one. Uh, they also did a gold pearl as well. Um, they also did what they term as a styrated um, fountain pen. In Again, in gold, they did a pink styrated colour. Um, so yeah they came and I, I think last but not least I think they also brought this one out in a blue pearl as well there may be other colours um, but as I say they came in numerous different colours and in some cases slightly different trim now let's take you to the barrel imprint first of all Okay, and I'm hoping you can read there, it says Waterman's 512V made in England. Okay, so a lovely clear imprint, let's give you a slightly different view. There you have it. Now, some of you people will say, yes, what does the V stand for? Nice and simply, it's what Waterman's termed as their vest pocket pens or size if you like um, it's not the largest of pens it's not the smallest but as I say it's what they termed as a vest pocket pen it comes in gold plated trim as we've just mentioned it's got this lovely gold box lever here if we take you up to the so the cap band there, you can see the cap band. It's got sort of a, a slightly Art Deco band to the pen there, to the cap band. And some of them had just a simple double cap bands on the caps as well. So again, slightly different in trim. But as you can see, this lovely cap band there to the bottom. Um, doesn't need a lot of introduction. You can see the, the clip there, a standard waterman's clip and again i th i think these are sort of a, a slight art deco design as well very nice and again you can see the waterman name on the clip itself if we take you to the very top there you can see it's got this gold sort of cap stud to the very top of the pen there now let's unscrew the pen let's give you some of my customary twirls as i say i fully restored it i've replaced the uh the box lever there we've now put in a brand new sack in the pen so it's ready now for its new home so what we'll do we'll try and find a new home for it let's take you up to the to the section you can see quite a small section a slight lip towards the nib there and then if we show you the nib Let's keep it nice and still. It reads Waterman's 14 carat W-2A, which is a correct nib 
for this model. There's a sideways view for you. Let's turn it round and show you the feed there. Okay, you can see it's got this sort of quite unusual, but a Waterman feed with this sort of channel to the middle there. This pen also I've actually seen with just a normal standard plain feed. So even the feeds on the pens in some cases were a little different. Okay, but all in all, as I say, a beautiful little pen. Now, although I'm saying it's a little pen, as I've mentioned millions of times, I've got quite large hands, and it's still a nice, comfortable pen to hold. Okay, so the size, I, I won't be put off by the size, it's still nice and comfortable. Now, as I say, we'll find a new home for it, and sometimes people or the new owner would prefer to actually cap, uh, or should I say post the cap. I personally don't like posting the caps to the end of the barrels, but if somebody wanted to do that, it's their pen and it's up to them. Now, it'd be interesting to see what the nib's like on this pen, so let's bring on, let's bring on some paper, and I'm, going to, I'm just going to simply do a dip test okay because as I say I've fully restored it's got a new sack so we'll leave that to the new to the new owner so let's dip it in there and let's see how the nib writes so we've got a Waterman's 5122V and as I said It's what they termed as a vest pocket pen. Now the date of this pen, I would say late 1940s. Let's dip it again. To 1950s. When I say late, I believe it may have been about 1948-49, but in all all intents and purposes, I'm going to date the pen 1950s. It's actually a lovely writer. Does it have any flex? Well, I would say slightly. There's a slight bit of flex. And there we go, we've run out of ink. So, I wouldn't call it a fully flex nib, but there is slight variation in the line. If we show you the... There's a writing sample. As you can see here, there's a little bit of variation in the line, so just a little bit of flex on this, on this nib. But all in all, a lovely smooth writer so somebody will enjoy the pen and they'll enjoy writing with this one maybe I don't know maybe one of my lady viewers will enjoy this pen although I say it's a vest pocket it's a small pen and it's maybe for a lady as I said even with my large hands it's still quite comfortable to hold but there we have it an absolutely beautiful grey pool Waterman's 512V vest pocket pen. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen. As always, as much as I enjoy showing them to you people, don't be shy. Down below, leave a comment if you can. Have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe to my channel as well. And last but not least, um, down below if you can, please support my work. So there we have it. And last but not least, in these difficult times, all you people out there, all over the world, 
please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.